my last video, I show you my newest kit, which is this one that you see here. And I also show you how to put it together and how to assemble it. I'm going to leave a link of that video right up up here somewhere. So you can see that and take a, a look how to put together one of these babies. On this video, we're going to use my kit to assemble the green monster. Stick around. So there you go guys this is my setup right here as you can see we got the 14 packs they're already connected in series and I'm gonna just give you a little close-up soon um, I wanted to record this part but yesterday when I finished uh, everything I went out to buy some shelves so I could put this battery in where I'm going to uh, you know use it but as i was out the power uh, from the grid went off and we we were like in a four hour blackout or something like that by the time i came in i started to do the assembly like rush it then i had to go out and buy some food and when i came back and i was eating the power came back in so i was using my backup uh, power wall that i have somewhere down there but let me just show you let me take the camera with me this is a fairly simple setup uh, this is not the way you're supposed to do it but just to give you an option as you can see here this is just a simple uh, screw with nuts and some washer as a how to say that as a spacer and this is my main negative this is my main positive and this is the bms this is a small bms that is rated for 30 amps but it can handle up to 145 uh, it depends on the situation and as you can see everything is connected in series and your main positive end up here and here i have the inverter that i'm going to be using here you go this is the mpp solar lv5048 i'm just going to give you a little demonstration and in another video i'm going to be using this like in the final setup for today I have something hooked up over here which is just a simple output 
and we're going to connect some stuff to it and see how it runs. So I'm going to turn on the device right now, the inverter. So it's already connected, the battery is pretty much full. And let's see what's the voltage on the battery. Battery right now it's 57 volts, it's mostly full. So now everything is connected. This is what I use to switch the power around. This is where I control the fridge, the rooms, and some lights, which basically right now we're using the power from the grid. But if I want to change uh, the lights here from grid to solar, I could just switch it. As you can see, that's the light from solar. Just turn on, turn off. I'm just gonna leave it on for now. My fridge, it's currently working with the grid. We're gonna switch it. There you go, we still have power. And the last two, it's gonna be my office, which I have my computer turned on right now. Let's see what happens. This is the computer. As you can see, we are running off the battery. And this is the importance of what I wanted to change the inverter. The old inverter, uh, since it was not a pure sine wave, it made a ticking now and a ticking noise or a static noise. And as you can hear right now, there's nothing. And the, just the fact that I can work now, even if there's a blackout, it's just amazing. For the last part, we're gonna switch the living room, which is basically this large TV right here. And this particular fan. Now this fan, when you run it with a non-pure sign inverter, makes a humming noise that is awful. Let's see what happened now. And it's quiet as it should be. And that is awesome. As for the TV, there you go, everything is working. Perfect. So now the whole house is connected and we have TV, fan, PC, fridge. I wanna see what's going on here. Let me see if I could focus this. So we are roughly using about 300, close to 400 watts. And yeah, that's it. So there you go. Hope you guys like it. Uh, it's the first time I finished a full battery, especially the one that I want to make for my home. And, you know, it, I couldn't do it if it weren't for a, for a battery kit that I know it was going to work and it's going to give me the best of, of what I need to take care of my home. Especially now, since we are we became a production house, we are manufacturing this in house. As you can see, the machines in in the back, and we are ramping the production. We are getting more equipment, so we are going to be able to to mass produce these. So this will segue me to a question that you guys have been asking for the last two months: How can you get your hands on this? And it's not going to be the same as my old videos where I make a product and I just tell you, go to this website and you could just gonna buy it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a waiting list. Now on the website, DIYBatteryStore.com, you're going to be able to either two options. You could do a down payment that's gonna get you in the list, just like the Cybertruck from Tesla. You're gonna give a down payment. And as soon as we're getting close to the order that you want, uh, we're going to let you know, and then you pay up front, uh, you pay the rest of the money, and then we can ship it out to you. Or you could do a full payment for whatever it is that you want to get, but we're going to give you a discount. So that way, uh, you help us get the equipment that we need, but also you save some money down the road. There's going to be another option uh, for those that live outside United States and everything like that. Uh, that I'm not in the liberty to explain completely, but I think it's going to be the best for the community right now. So eventually in the future, we're going to talk about it, but hopefully it's going to be there on the website as soon as I get some clearance around the people that are advising me about that third option. But for now, 
If you want to support me, support this channel, support the project, go ahead, go to the website and do your, I don't know, off from payment or pre-order. And I'll be more than happy to get these babies to you. Hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for the support that you guys been giving me and being patient with me. And remember, I love you. Jesus Christ loves you and he already died for you. So take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.